Hey, hi, it's Oscar Knight. Excited? I'm kind of excited. I always get excited for Oscar Knight. You know, I thought I'd dress for the occasion. <laughs> it's amazing what you find on eBay these days. Anyway, it is Sunday. It's almost the end of February also, and I picked the best picture. I have to confess to you, it was almost impossible. They have made it so ridiculous, in my opinion, to have so many films nominated for best pick, they cannot all be that great, and I didn't see them all, I couldn't even tell you. I had to kind of throw my hands up in the air for another reason. The, the stars and the planets are so similar for all of the different films that it really is difficult to pick them the way that I did for the best actor and the best actress. So, I am going by the sun sign, and you'll read the article, and you'll see... How about you? Do you have any ideas of which one's going to win? Are any of them going to win? Or are they just going to go, they've all won, everybody's wonderful. I'm waiting for that next time. Um, so that's that. Uh, the other things going on this weekend, we've got Libya blowing up, and I'll have a good look at that tomorrow. We'll talk about that. Um, there's a lot of interest in, in what's going on over there in the Middle East. It's so ridiculously volatile, and, and, and it's changing every day, and... It's very frightening, it's very unsettling, but at the same time, we have to face up to these things and, you know, probably pay for mistakes that were made many, many years ago when these countries were sort of, you know, divvied up out of the lands and people forced to live in them and make a community of themselves. So, um, you know, there's just complete and utter craziness and chaos going on in that part of the world. And um, I haven't talked much about the movement in Madison, Wisconsin, but um, I guess that that didn't sort of come up to be the Jupiter-Pluto thing I thought it might come up to be either. Maybe it was like all talk and not that much action. There were a lot of people in Madison, but the rest of the country, not so much. Oh, we don't need any more chaos. Um, what else can I tell you about today? We're going to have um, the moon in Capricorn. and Oh, this is the fun part. At the very end of the evening at like 11.03 p.m. Eastern Time. The moon's going to go void, of course. <laughs> and if you've been uh, watching Read the Stars for a while, you know that means that um, things can happen that are a little bit surprising. We might expect one thing to happen when another occurs. This is because the moon is moving from one sign to the next, and it doesn't make any contacts with other planets for this little while. And um, so the unexpected is bound to happen. So the movie that we all think is going to win may not win. Um, I'm looking for like a dark horse kind of thing to emerge if the show goes on that long. And if it does, will any of us still be awake to watch? <laughs> anyway, get ready to start your week. Monday is tomorrow, folks, and we've got a big week coming up on Read the Stars and in the big wide world, too. Talk to you soon.